a student-teacher relationship that's oddly weird. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin. Today I'm here to talk to you about Passion Volume 1 by Shinobu Gota and Shoko Takaka. Takaku. I'll read the back and delve into the nitty-gritty. Student and teacher, man and man. Taboo upon taboo is what Hikaru and Shima have to overcome if they want to pursue their feelings for one another. Unable to contain his passion one day, Hikaru forces himself on his teacher. Guilt-ridden after the incident, Hikaru seeks ways to make it up for his sin. Surprisingly, Shima has quite a unique suggestion for their atonement. He proposes the boy that they play act as lovers when away from prying eyes of the rest of the school population. However, they would only pretend to be so to the duration of Ferraro's Hikaru's <laughs> fight high school life. As graduation draws near, will Hikaru be able to convince Shiba, Shima to keep him as a lover for good? Alright, this is published by DMP. It is rated 18 plus. I'm sorry I read the back of this like garbage, but if you look at the back of it, it's easy to read the part that's written in white, but the bottom part is this weird dark purple. It looks really bright on screen, like on my like finder for the camera, but it's like virtually reading black on black. It's it's bad. That is a bad little publishing kind of choice. Now let's talk about art style. That's the opening. There really isn't much cover art. I gotta skip the first few pages and there you go. This kind of reminds me of One Piece's art style except for it's more refined. It screams the early 2000s kind of depiction of male anime characters. They're, they're very long-limbed they're very kind of bright eye and bushy-tailed, and they all look the same exact age. Now, I like the art style. I'm not saying it's bad. It's a little dated. That's all that's wrong with it, is it's slightly dated. For me, as far as that goes, it doesn't hurt it, doesn't kill it. I mean, that's just a personal preference depending on you. Now, for me, with a plot line, let's get started on that. This, I will clarify just to start, it is a very rapey anime, or manga in general. Um, the story opens up with the student forcing his way to have sex on with his teacher. It opens up in the middle of that sex scene. Then later on, we have the teacher once again getting forcibly nearly date-raped, it's not even date-raped, colleague-raped at a school function by a co-worker. And it's very much so a the teacher's hot stuff being pursued by everybody else. I, when reading this, I didn't know how to feel. I still don't know how I feel about it. I just find that with this one, I found it had great sustainability. It kept me interested enough that I wasn't like, ew, this is garbage. I don't want to read the rest of the series. But that being said, the plot line felt too... Hormonally driven is the wrong word. It felt too... Just kind of too teenage angst for me. I, I love teenage angst. I love drama. I love, like, tragic romance. That is my jam. And yes, this was all of those things. But it was just too much of that teenage kind of angst. It was just too much of that... Um, just It was just odd. There's a huge, there's a huge master and sub kind of dynamic... The student constantly calls his teacher sir every time they talk even in the bedroom after doing things he calls him sir um there is no equal play here uh and then we meet our protagonist or, or, or antagonist sorry we meet our antagonist the bad guy in this and it's an ex of the teacher who fell in love with him at the same high school they now both teach at and the way he tries to prove his love to him is by raping him in the bathroom at a function for the teachers it's really weird in that regard, but I liked it. I thought it was interesting. I want to see where it goes. It's just, it felt very middle of the road for me. As far as having to have it, I don't know. I mean, I have to read the next one to even have an opinion about it because this ended at just kind of the right spot to where I have to read the next one to have a full opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of diehards that love this kind of teacher-student rapey genre, 
within the yaoi thing, but for me, I'm not huge on that. I never have been. I prefer two consensual, kind of consenting adults. The way this reads, though, is the kid is just about to graduate in a year, so he might be freshly 18. I don't know. It just feels... All the characters feel juvenile. All the characters feel really young. So, I don't know if it, this is a have-to-have. It is kind of maybe a have-to-pass in some ways, but I don't know yet. I mean, that's just it. This left me at such a point where I was like, okay, and episode two will begin in a moment. And I was waiting for the next episode, but I didn't bother to grab the next volume because I have other things I need to do today. So yes, if you guys have read this before, let me know your opinion. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Sincerely, I think I'm going to like it, if that counts. But knowing for sure is always a different thing. So yes, if you guys have read this before, let me know in the comment section down below. Show me a like, a favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes Yaoi, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!